All right, everyone, Dr. Troy here, and we're ready to roll into phase two. So we've got phase one that's running smoothly. We have outreach taking place. We're working on our groups. We're working on just making sure we're staying connected to our patient base, uh, especially, and then hopefully even building some relationships outside of that. Now we roll into phase two. Now phase two is all about project completion. It's all about project completion. So this is huge. And as we look at taking, you know, take a look at your life, look at your health, your relationships, your, your, your spirituality and your business. We're looking at your business because there are things in your business that don't get done because, well, life happens. Or there's things in your business that get done maybe to a 70% level or a 60% level. And you, you've all been there before where there's just a level of mediocrity that's come out maybe in your marketing, a level of mediocrity maybe in our, in our service. And this is an opportunity for you to step back and take a look at each aspect of your business, to take a look at your procedures, to take a look at uh, your, your fulfillment, your service fulfillment, your service, uh, your customer service techniques and things that you're doing there and protocols that you have. It's an opportunity to look at your marketing. It's an opportunity to look at your patient education. Think of each one of these as a bucket and are there any holes in the bucket where you know that you could be doing better in maybe customer service? You know you could be doing better in fulfillment and you know you could be doing better in marketing or your patient education. And so this is really taking a step back and let's get this 30,000 foot view of what's going on in your business and all of these different buckets. And take a look at the lists that you've made. Take a look at the things that you said that you wanted to do and projects that you wanted to complete, maybe even in the first quarter of this year, or maybe for the last year that just have not gotten done. This is the opportunity to not only have started those things, but to finish them and to make them really like just crystal clear and clean and awesome, right? Like just finish these things, get them done, get the tasks done. So when you go back into your office, you have this opportunity to implement things that have been cleaned up. You have an opportunity to implement things that uh, you've maybe made them more efficient in the office. So that means you get more done in less time. This is the opportunity. Now is the time for you to do these things. Maybe your marketing calendar is incomplete for the year, or maybe it's an opportunity for you to dive deeper into the things that you want to do for marketing in your office. Maybe it's your patient education, you realize that you're just half-assing it throughout the course of a day, week, and a month. So you really sharpen the, the saw on your patient education and maybe your tips of the week or topics of the week that you want to be talking to your patients about. You get super clear on what those things are. You map them out into a calendar and now you can show them to your team when you head back in the office and you have a team meeting. So this is a tremendous opportunity for you to dive into your business. Now, there's also some other areas, right? There's your health, there's your spirituality, there's your, your relationships at home, there's things that you wanna do at home. And so absolutely, 100%, make sure that you're taking care of business at home. Take a look at some of the projects that you've wanted to take care of at home. Take a look at some of the things you've really wanted to work on. Take a look at things that are not finished. You started them, you didn't finish them. And use this as an opportunity to complete those as well. I want you to think of this as kind of like juggling balls, right? Like keep some synergy here. It's not all work, it's get some work done and be crystal clear on what you want to get done. And it's get some things done at home and it's get some things taken care of in your relationship. It's really making sure that we're working on all these areas. Now, the best way to do this in terms of, well, really anything is, you know, you look at your business and say, okay, if I were just to, I have all these lists that are going on right now, I'm just going to brainstorm. I'm going to brainstorm and I'm write down all the ideas that are in my head right now. And maybe it's for, from a customer service standpoint, or maybe it's from a front desk position or a new patient advocate position. I really want to focus in on uh, what my staff does. So I'm going to focus on each staff member's position. I'm going to brainstorm all the things that they're supposed to be doing. And then I'm going to narrow it down. Is there, is there one thing for each person that I can work on that if that were crystal clear when we got back in the office, it would really, really make it more efficient. Or if there's just these projects, these overriding projects that you want to do for the office, sit and brainstorm them, get it all out first, then take a look at your list and narrow them down and say, here's my top three. And from the top three, pick the number one thing. Okay. This isn't saying you're going to ignore everything else on the list. Say, I'm gonna pick my top thing and I'm gonna work on it to completion. And when you're done with that, you work on the second thing to completion. I've said this word, finish and completion, a million times already in this video because I want you to be able to work on these things to get them done, get them to completion. So when you walk back in the office, you feel really super strong and focused about everything that you've worked on. You can share it with your team and boom, we just increase productivity. We just increase uh, efficiency. We just increase maybe connection. We just increased uh, the way we're gonna do our marketing, whatever it is. If you have that level of clarity, you're gonna go hop back, you're, you will. You're gonna hop back into your office. You're gonna be ready to serve and you're gonna have have fun doing it as you now get to share these things with your team, okay?
Then we have that other side, which is those other things you want to do at home. Now, there's kind of like a bonus to this as well. The bonus is this. Some of you want to work on other things. Some of you want to do online programs. Some of you want to create a video series, that sort of thing. So in phase three, we're going to talk about videos, but in terms of the creation and getting this going, phase two is a perfect time to do that. Let's say you've evaluated every aspect of your office and you see little tweaks that need to be made. You might have that done in two or three days. And now you really want to dig in on those extra ideas or those additional ideas that you have. You want to work on a, an online program. You want to work on an online presence. You want to work on some level of online coaching or anything like that. Super cool. This is where we start to draw out the vision of what that looks like. This is where we're going to have to have discussions on this. Okay. But it's where you draw out the vision of this. Who's the target market that you're going after? What start brain dumping just all the topics that you want to share. And then we'll talk about a value ladder and we'll create a value ladder. So you can have a crystal clear idea of where it is that you're going products that you'll need to make. And then we'll talk about this overall vision and what it's going to look like. So this is a great opportunity for you to go ahead and just get rolling on that send it to me and then when we get on the phone and talk about it we'll be able to really 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 map out the plan to get there you have time to do this stuff right now so let's get to work on it all right so this is phase two phase two is super high productivity phase all right so roll up your sleeves get to work and hey we'll head to phase three